Oh my god, look at all of the empty whiskey bottles that I don't have the heart to that I don't have the heart to throw away because then I'd know how little whiskey I actually have in the house. <sighs> oh yeah, and um, and over here we've got tea, sobriety, and sobriety, sobriety, and sobriety. Yeah. Anyways. What is going on everybody? <laughs> it's a wonderful Friday here in Toronto and I have something very special to look forward to after work. Tonight we are going to a whiskey pop-up. It's called the 92 Point Whiskey Pop-up. It's somewhere on Queen Street and I don't know who's actually going to be putting this together. Um, it's a secret but I'm willing to take a couple guesses here. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a Canadian whiskey, maybe a Canadian club, maybe a Wiser's, but would a Wiser's actually win a 92 point whiskey? I don't know. So anyways, we're gonna find that out. And, um, and while I take you guys along on my exciting work day, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about whiskey. How about that? All right, let's get started. Whoop. Expenses. My first whiskey was when I was a wee lad and I snuck it from my grandma's liquor cabinet and it was a Glen Fittick and took one sip and it tasted like death, like, like paint thinner. But I drank it because I wanted to be manly, you know, that sort of thing. When I went out to university, my drink of choice was Canadian whiskey, and not the good stuff. We're talking about the type of Canadian whiskey where I decided what smoothness was depend by how uh, easy it went out of the bottle. Western days. Anyways, this is good stuff. I kind of wish I had more. Won a bunch of awards, you know, smooth, Spicy, really good with cocktails. Oh yeah, and um, I'm kind of working. I'm kind of procrastinating. I'm gonna go clean the shelf, finally. Had to be done. Okay. I kind of want to keep this bottle around because it was the bottle that was gifted to me when I finally left the corporate world best team I ever had. It's a Laphroaig 10 year and what that means is it tastes like campfire and I love it. But it's gone. So sentimental bottle, sentimental bottle. Nowadays, especially in the winter time, I like to choose a wonderful, typically corn-heavy bourbon. And there's a couple of reasons why. One is because bourbon tastes like sweet, spicy, liquid candy. It's wonderful. It's warming. Um, secondly is because price to dollar, uh, price to dollar, price to dollar, uh, price to value ratio, I think that bourbon wins versus scotch. Uh, for a hundred dollars you could get a damn fine bourbon, and you can get a decent scotch, but scotch goes way up. But now I think that I have to stock up on the bourbon because NAFTA's going to hell in a handbasket, so... bourbon. And you can't forget about Japanese whiskey. This is a Nika Pure Malt 12, and it's got a very subdued, very, it tastes like Japanese culture meets whiskey. And it's got all of these nuances, all of these 
smooth, caramely, a little bit of malt, just a little bit of smoke. It's, it's wonderful, and it's honestly the only thing that Kim will drink. If you want a good mixing bourbon, this is a Four Roses yellow label, and it's $26, $27 at the LCBO, and yeah, if you want to make a Manhattan and you're not trying to impress people, you just want to kick back and relax. Simple syrup. It's a necessity for cocktails and it's simple to make. Do not buy simple syrup. Equal parts sugar, equal parts water, put it in a pan over medium heat, dissolve it and wait until you see it go clear and the liquid go wavy. Let it cool, put it into a squeeze bottle. Cocktails. Ah, yes. I actually don't think that it's gonna be Wiser's today because this, this at the very least, definitely didn't win 92 points. Hmm. Could be Gibson's. Maybe Gibson's? I don't know. We'll see. But it needs to be mixed to hell. And back again before you can drink it. Or you need to be like really, really, really sauced. It's, it's terrible. It tastes like you're sucking on wood, like wood chips with liquor. Ugh. Okay, so this is what I did. I ordered it from lightest to darkest. Sort of. It's quite nice. And then, huh? glassware and bar stuff and all sorts of bitters Ooh. Why, would, why would you do that why would you do that Nick there we go there we go and now all sorts of bitters and I don't know like airplane stuff cuz yeah I don't know why okay so change of plans I've got a friend in from Montreal who is hanging out uh, down by Union Station. So I'm gonna go bike over and, and say hi to him and might film him, might not. We'll see if I don't, I will see you at the event. See you there, okay, bye. Bloggers do this. It's weird. Uh, all right, guys. I'm here with the fam. There's Alexa. Hi. There's Avi. Hey. There's Michael, aka Global Garcon. <laughs> and oh, there. And then Hi. there's Kim. And they're all. There's Kim from Instagram, actually. <laughs> and they're all much more famous than I am right now. But that's why I hang with them because they're super cool. No. <laughs> and. We're just walking over to the pop-up right now. It's at Queen and Ossington, basically. And I've got a question for the group. Um, the brand is kind of secret, not actually secret. Mystery. Like, it's, a, it's kind of a mystery. So I, I was guessing that it was Canadian Club that we're going to, but can I get your guesses? Like Crown in terms Royal. of, you think it's Crown Royal? I think that's a good guess, Kim. Maybe it's Lock 40. Uh, ooh, Lot 40 is actually a really good one, yeah. uh, and 40 Creek is also a pretty good one. Yeah. I've had that. JP Wiser. I don't think that Wiser is gonna win. Uh, like Wiser stuff tastes terrible. Well, you're allowed to, but it, like it's not gonna win 92 points at a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so Wiser. Um, we all think it's a Canadian whiskey though. Yes. On this. Only Canadian. And I think it makes particular sense because I think that whiskeys have a seasonality yeah. to them. So this is to kind of like make up for, for all of the lost sales that are being uh, eaten right now by gins, vodkas. Uh, vodka sodas are kind of like the big craze right now. Um, what else? Ciders, pretty much anything kind of gluten-free and calorie-free because Everyone's thinking about that beach bod life. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of a long walk, so I'm not gonna walk like this 
because my biceps are gonna get giant. So I'll see you guys there. <sighs> All right, guys, here we are at the pop-up. Uh, spoiler alert, it's Canadian Club. So for everyone who was following along and guessing, that's what it is, 92 points. Congratulations. Yeah, um, this is kind of awkward. We're just standing in line, so I'll see you there. Too complex, much too complex. You guys want to see what an Instagram is? Guess who lost the Jenga game? I did. But now it's food time, so that's good. Uh, hey, uh, could I get the fried chicken and the poke bowl? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. I'm gonna just put that there. Put that there. Thanks, man. Enjoy, buddy. Alright guys, um, so we're leaving the CC um, pop-up now. It was the CC Premium 1858 that made 92 points on the latest Whiskey Bible. So congratulations to Canadian Club. Uh, it was very smooth. Um, we were served it neat, firstly, and it went down surprisingly well. Very nuanced, had a little bit of that caramel raisin characteristic um, but at the end of the day it's still uh, it's still a Canadian whiskey which means it's very apologetic I guess you could say it, it doesn't have like a very strong um, it doesn't have a very strong character and backbone um, but that's exactly what you're expecting from a Canadian whiskey that's not a fault it's just what it is I would drink it again so Anyways, we um, we had a lot of fun. I'm gonna ask the guys. Hey guys, yes. did we have a lot of fun? Okay. Jenga! Yeah. <laughs> We're more excited about Jenga than anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're leaving. We're gonna go and maybe try to eat at Super Point. We'll see how that goes. I will first thank you guys for hanging out with me today and um, thank you for following me on my little whiskey adventure. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time and stay hungry. Bye. Too complex, much too complex. Too complex, much too complex. Too complex, too 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 complex. Too 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 complex.